All right, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Apex Legends in stretch res on DirectX 12. Now, if you are unaware, Apex has recently launched a DirectX 12 version instead of DirectX 11. However, it is only in beta at the moment. Um, it's not a full release, but you can actually go ahead and try it now. Um, I personally don't super like it. I think it actually gives me worse frames um, as well as it does not run in a proper full screen mode. It actually runs in borderless full screen mode no matter what. And that is a DirectX 12 thing. However, there is a way to implement a proper full screen mode that will act as a window that you can actually fully minimize and that will stretch to the desktop um, with whatever resolution you put. Um, so you can actually play lower resolutions um, where you can play stretch res. Uh, that's not possible right now just through the game in Apex because they've not implemented that. So it's only borderless full screen. Um, when you tab out, it stays on top and it won't stretch. So I'm going to show you the workaround. Um, just TLDW, uh, you have to change your desktop res. That's basically it. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that um, in a convenient way and like some quirks with it. So basically, first of all, to enable DirectX 12, we're going to go to our launch options. So we're going to right click Apex Legends properties and we're going to copy paste this command. That's going to launch it in DirectX 12. If you want to go back to DirectX 11, you would just go ahead and you would max space. Just get rid of that. And if you're playing stretch res, you should hopefully already have these commands in your launch options. If you don't, I'll have that in the description as well. Um, so this video is mostly going to focus on stretch res, but if you just want to play the game still at native aspect ratio, but just at a lower resolution, like 720p on a 1080p display, then all you have to do is change your resolution. I do recommend skipping to the part where I talk about the hotkey resolution changer, as that does make it very convenient to switch your resolution uh, going into the game, or if you tab out. But other than that, you don't really need to watch the rest of this video. The main thing you need to know is that you just have to lower your resolution before you launch the game, and it will work perfectly fine as well as if you are playing on a low resolution to get better performance, I recommend using NVIDIA scaling, which um, you can either turn on globally in your 3D settings, or you can go to program settings, choose Apex specifically. And in this case, you would need to actually go ahead and choose the DirectX 12 version of Apex if you're gonna do it on the specific program, as there is actually now a new executable file for it. I don't believe this will work if you do it on the old R5 Apex.exe without the X12. And you can just turn on image scaling for this specific program, and you can set the sharpening level. If you want to adjust the sharpening uh, in real time, you can also do that in GeForce Experience. But it is very nice that you can set it for specific programs instead of having it on globally. Yeah, there is that option if you just want to play on lower res and you can set any of these scaling resolutions in your hotkey resolution changer. That's going to be pretty much it for you guys. Just go ahead and skip to see the hotkey resolution part and then uh, you're good with the video. And I am assuming that anyone watching this video already knows how to play stretch res and already has things set up. However, if you don't, here's your chance now to go and watch my video on how to use it. Um, I have two guides on it, one on how to use NVIDIA Control Panel and another showing how to use Custom Res Utility. For most users, I think NVIDIA Control Panel is a good option. So um, just go ahead and watch either of those videos and come back here once you finish setting up your stretch res. All right, so now that everyone has their stretch res actually set up, you should hopefully know where your video config is, but just go over that again. You would go to your C drive or wherever you have your main Windows installation. Users, your name, save games, respawn, apex, local, video config. Make sure this is not on read only. Um, I'm going to open it up. And whatever resolution you're trying to play in, go ahead and make sure that is put in here. If you are going to go back to DirectX 11, you're playing anything more stretched than 16 by 10, you want to have your full screen on zero still. On DirectX 11, you have to launch in window mode and then press Alt Enter to go to full screen and that will stretch it. You don't have to do this with DirectX 12, so you can have it launch in full screen. But if you plan to go back to DirectX 11 
or you're kind of on the fence, you might want to just leave it on zero, you know, just for ease. But I'm going to leave it on one. If you're sticking with DirectX 12, that's completely fine. So make sure everything else in here is good. Uh, like all your graphics settings have already been set. I actually don't necessarily need the read only, but I'm going to leave it checked uh, so that it doesn't potentially change my resolution or anything. Now we need to change our resolution. Now you can just go into NVIDIA control panel or display settings and you can just change it in there. That will work. But you probably don't want to do that every single time you launch the game. And it, like if you're tabbing out mid game, you don't want to have to change back by doing this. It's kind of annoying. So what I recommend is that you actually download this program. I'm going to have this linked. Um, it's called Hotkey Resolution Changer. And basically this is going to run in your taskbar. And you can just set up some hotkeys. Um, you just click change and you just type whatever you want. Then you click set. And then you just choose whichever resolution that you want. So have one for your monitor resolution and then have one for whatever resolution you're changing to. And that way you can just change with a single button press. Now, once you download the program, I do recommend moving the folder to your program files just for the sake of organization, but you don't actually have to. But now we need to do something to make sure that it starts with a window so you don't have to open this every time. So what we're going to do is press Windows key plus R. We're going to get this little prompt. We're going to type shell colon startup. You can copy this if you want from the description or you can just type it shell colon startup. You're just going to right click HRC, create shortcut. And you're going to drag the shortcut over to there. I already have one. And that's just going to make sure that it starts with Windows. So you don't have to do any extra steps. It's just going to be in your taskbar and you can just use your hotkeys right away. So we're going to launch in 1440 by 1080. So I press my key for that. And uh, we launch the game. And as you can see, it is nice and stretched. There's actually no black bars. Unfortunately, the HUD is still messed up. I don't really understand why it's messed up. Oh, we have to compile shaders. That's awesome. I love compiling shaders. We do that a lot here on DirectX 12. One of the reasons why I don't really recommend it because you'll just randomly have to do that. But yeah, you can see that we are completely in 1440 by 1080. Our HUD is still weird. It is what it is. Um, I guess that is something that just is not going to be fixed regardless. Um, so, yeah, that's all you really need. Um, if you want to, like, while you're playing the game, you want to, like, tab out and use a web browser, you can actually just tab out um, and use your hotkey. Change back to native res. You'll see that the window is not stretched. You can use your web browser, do whatever you want. Um, and then just go ahead and change it back before you go back into the game. And you can see that it's working perfectly fine still. It didn't mess up the stretch at all, so we're good. Um, so that's basically it. That's all you really need to know for the main purpose of the video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.